Hello and welcome to the beginning of my PHP portfolio website. I've begun building a content management system along with working with Android applications and doing some video game programming in C++ to help increase my knowledge and skill in the technologies I'm most interested in working on. So without further delay, let's look at this side a little bit. I have set up session variables so that you have to be logged in to be able to get to any content in the page. So either as a visitor or as a user, and it uh, regulates which pages you can get into based on your access level. So I can try to get into staff.php, content, and it's not going to let me in anywhere until I log in somewhere. So let's try to log in. And just put in my name without a password. It's going to tell me that I need to put a password in. So let's try to put in this which is the incorrect password. It's going to tell me it couldn't find a user with that password. So let's put in the right thing. And here we go. So from the staff page, we can add a new user or edit the content. So let's look at the content. Um, from here, we can edit a page. We can change the subject that it's associated with and the position. So I can just move it down to documents, put it at two. See that it moves automatically. Just put it back where it was. You can also go in here and add some new subjects. So just for fun, put it at the bottom. And I can add pages. And it's updated with that new subject. So let's just put something in there. Placeholder. <laughs> And here we go. We can go in, we can edit the content. I'm just going to delete these pages because there's no use. Then we have a JavaScript pop up to make sure that we didn't want to delete these, which I do. So I'll just continue that. So let's try to add a new user. We'll put this in as uh, James. We'll create the user. Go back to content, log out. Try to get in as James. <clears throat> and we can. So now let's look what it's like to be a visitor here. We got a form validation set up. So if we try to just create a user, it's going to tell us that we have to insert the necessary fields. So let's go in as Zoe. Oh, we got to have a password. What about that? Is that enough? Well, I don't have to put up a company name, but I will anyway. And let's put in an invalid email address. And we'll leave out the period. So it's going to tell me both these are wrong because this is not a valid email address and this has to be the exact same email address. So we can tell that it, it's going to make me put in a valid email address by making sure that these are still the same thing, but this is not a valid email address. And when I do that, well now this isn't the same as that. So there we go. And through what you select after you input your information, I've set up to pull up pages of interest based on these important aspects. So I create a visitor and I can log in. And now I can access all the content. The sections on the subjects on the side are folded up so that they don't roll off the page and go through. It selects the first page within the subject. You can view a uh, resume. This is an embedded PDF display. We can also go through here and click on these other, still need to buff it out with content. But if you notice on the side, it's also logging the pages that I view. So when I come back later, I don't have to remember what I've already seen before. And this will also be updated when uh, new content is added. It'll be taken out of the previously viewed section. So let's look at a couple more of these. And we'll log out. 
and let's make sure that it kept track of what I viewed and it has so that's about it I am continuing to flesh it out with HTML and CSS but for now I'm building a stable basis in PHP and adding in some JavaScript so I can put in some videos and maybe put in a couple different um, picture viewers so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed